everyone, it's Alexandria and Michael and welcome to Never Better Club. Today we're taking on the Hell Tart Challenge. Will we survive? That is the question. So today is the day we have been waiting for approximately two and a half days ago we received the Hell Tart Challenge in the mail. And I am so excited to eat this and more importantly, eat the um, non-spicy tart afterwards. So if you are unfamiliar with this challenge, it is new. We saw Brian Ams take this on and then like wildfire, our friends um, on YouTube started taking it on as well. Uncle Pool Cow, late for work. Uh, Sorry, I'm in the cough. <laughs> Eat for work, uh, Sundance, and who else has taken it on? Oh, oh, uh, Sip Jumper. He did that. He actually annihilated it. He was the he first was, person yeah. I ever saw do it. So I've never seen a girl do this before. Maybe today that's what you guys will get to witness. Or you're going to get to witness a girl fail. Either way. And this is going to be the first couple I've ever seen do it. A lot of firsts today. Okay, let's open it. This is, we, ha we have no idea what's in this box. You know, we've only seen a few other people do it. I think these are new um, packages that she is using. She, uh, the owner of Hard Bitten. <coughs> Excuse me, my cough, it's still bad. <coughs> um, and I, you know, I don't know her name off the top of my head. I'm bad with prep surrounding these things. I just like to eat the spicy food and move on. But we will tell you, I'm sure it says in here somewhere. Look at this. There's an edge here. Very well packaged for um, shipping purposes. Really cute box here. It says Happy Halloween on it, which I love. Every day is Halloween in our house, in our haunted house. Probably should just rip the box right now. All no right. sense in being formal. It says on the outside, "Warning: Extremely hot, exciting." Oh boy! Oh, here we go. Michael was a little rough, I'll tell you. So one of these is a little chipped up. Not the hell tarts, but the lovely non-hell tarts. I will show them to you. They look so good, and I bet they're going to be so delicious. Look at that. Oh, Pop-Tarts, homemade Pop-Tarts. This one's lovely looking. Yes, I'm sure these came in one piece, perfect, in perfect condition. It just got shaken around a bit. Okay, and then below, so there's no mistaking, there's a layer of, um, yeah, you wanna put that over there? There's a layer of confetti here. And then we have the Hell Tart. Oh boy. Oh, oh boy. You know that the feeling almost oh, starts sinking in of not not regret. I don't know what to say really right now. Like like regret will be after. But uh can you help me with the strings here? The feeling of um hmm. Looks spicy. I'm, I'm holding this. Okay. The feeling of I don't need, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm a mess, I can't even talk. All right, I'm gonna get you a good look here. Wow, look at those. They are hefty little suckers. Um, okay, let me describe it to you, here's another one. The, the exterior is coated in adorable little sprinkles. There's spiders and skulls and looks like some sort of frosting. I don't know if it's sweet or not. It might not be, but then you can definitely see pepper powder on the outside. Um, you can smell it. And Michael see, can smell it. It contains uh, gluten, egg, milk products, strawberries, dried chili, strawberries. habaneros, Thai chilies, ghost pepper, Ooh. vinegar, chocolate, cayenne, paprika, citric acid, and sriracha powder. You guys, this is a non-point challenge. Like this is not affiliated with any point system. So 
I don't know, kind of removes some pressure. I feel a little bohemian at the moment and relaxed. Like I'm just gonna eat this super hot thing and enjoy it and it's gonna be great. There is a burn period though afterwards. It's a seven minute and six second burn period. However, I believe that Michael and I have decided to be rebels and do an eight minute burn period just to push it a little further. Well, so, I've been seeing up, I don't really see anything on here, but. We will be testing ourselves. Let's come with the rules. So let me read that real quick. Let's see. Rules for the challenge. Please eat within three days of receiving this. Otherwise, okay. freeze. Eat as much of the tart or share with a friend. Wait as long as possible before consuming anything. Don't forget to post your reaction video and tag us. Reaction also, video. it doesn't see any, it does have a disclaimer, which I'll just kind of read here. Oh, yeah, I hereby ahead. disclaim, release, and relinquish any and all claims, actions, and lawsuits that I may have against any party relating to any damage or injury this may result <laughs> or alleged resulted from the consumption or use of this product. It's making me test my eye, my vision. <laughs> I, I, I agree and um, relinquish all responsibility. And again, this is for um, this is hardbitten.com, hardbitten with two N's. All right, I'll, you I'll guys. I'll put the link in the description there, so. There's no time like the present. Let's do this. Yep. What do you say, Michael? What's your strategy? Do you have one? I think um, I'll break mine in half so you can see the inside. Oh, here we go. Yep. Is this beneficial? Not at all. It's all going the same place. I think my strategy is I want to eat it as quickly as possible. I think that's probably mine too. It's a you know decent sized pop tart here, so nice. Well, there it is. The jelly filling, the pepper jelly. Alright. My my you know I have before we go, before we go, not stalling, oh, but I stalling. do have a genuine cons uh, a fear. And that is that I'm going to be repulsed by the taste of this. I don't like pepper jellies. Like, you know those weird jellies that people try to put on meats and stuff? Jalapeno jams or like habanero jams. Anyways, this I'm is- I'm not sure you can have any pepper jelly. Michael, before. they are in our pantry. Oh yeah. yeah Believe it or really, not, there's like four jars of it really because we don't person, eat it. So. Yeah, and who puts pepper jelly on things? Well, this says, is a Pop-Tart. Says so. me, so the, the chili head. I'm like, ew. Huh? Okay, this is not gonna be gross. I am willing it. It is falling apart in my hands. Oh, Michael. All right. All right. Let's do it, cheers. All right, cheers. definitely hot. my mouth's a little confused. It's like, is it sweet or hot? I don't like it. I'm telling you. Huh. No. Starting to sweat a bit.
it has some heat. Ugh. Oh. Ah. <clears throat> Sorry, Michael. It's okay. Ooh. That's a hot one, guys and gals. Oh. Well, that's the hottest pop tart I've ever eaten in my life. <laughs> oh. Whew. Looks like you got mostly pastry there. Yeah. Oh, I don't know, Michael. Help me. You're so close. Oh, support me. Something. You got this. So close. Uh, There's just some pastry left. Uh, you can do this. Uh, so just a little bit more. You didn't come this far to leave it on the plate. Hot one. Whew. Hard bitten, not messing around. <sighs> Got this? Just a couple more bites. And then we can play your favorite game. One more bite. And some sprinkles. Oh. You got this. Oh. 
some of you know, we're training for our pepper eating competition in June, San Diego. This is great training. <sighs> this is hot. Whew. All right. All right, I'm still sweating. Oh, oh yeah, some tears. You're crying, wow. A legit challenge. Gag reflex. I did feel a little bit of that. Whew. I think we're approaching around 40 challenges. And we have um, a chart on the website, neverbetterclub.com, and we'll put our ranking for this challenge on there as well, including any cat cramps that might happen after the fact. And I've got a feeling there will be cat cramps. As you, you get this kind of reaction with sweating, the tears, the panting, you almost always get cat cramps. So I'm really curious how it's going to stack up against some of the other challenges we've done. <clears throat> Since I finished a little early, I'll grab our little game here. So you have a little, a little under six and a half minutes. This is pick your poison game. So, let's see, Alexander. Oh, he wants to read him. I really thought we both uh, we already done those. We those are the last two in the middle. Thank you, Doke. All right. Would you rather? have an incurable case of the hiccups, or develop a severe allergic reaction to every person after you've known them for longer than a year? I don't know. Ah. <clears throat> huh. Incurable hiccups. It takes a better girl. Yeah, I guess we like having friends, so I'll choose the hiccups. Let's see, next. Uh, would you rather have snakes for arms or have the neck of a giraffe? Hell no, no snakes for arms. Well, I write code for a living, so I'll choose the uh, giraffe neck. That would really get in the way of my job. Let's see. Would you rather live the rest of your life without your thumbs or bathe in a bathtub full of glitter? Oh, I'd love that. Glitter. We'll take the glitter. Glitter for two. <sighs> Let's see. Would you rather get stuck in an elevator that's one person over capacity for two hours? Sounds like your worst nightmare. Or age normally, but legally you're always 15. Uh, what? <laughs> That's a weird one. Age normally, but legally you're always 15. That's a stupid question. That's a stupid question. Yeah. I'll take the elevator, I guess. I don't know. Oh, guys, this is a hot one. Nose is running. Head is uh. melting. Oh. All right, would you rather spend the next 24 months on a submarine that can't surface due to a threat of nuclear war or have a little bit of water permanently trapped in your ear? 
ear. Um, I'll take the submarine. How productive I would be, 24 months underwater. Awesome. Oh, my ears burn. All right, let's see. Do, do, do. Would you rather I have challenge a... someone to do this. Go, say it. Should I say it now? Go ahead. Ryan and Leela. Oh, you guys would like this. This is fun. You two do this. Yeah, it's fun. It's so much fun. I'm having so much fun right now. Try it. Try it. Some burps. Ah, try it. All right. Oh, bet, bet you can handle it. <sighs> would you rather have a portable toilet fall over while you're using it or get trapped in a mine with 100 people for five days? What? <laughs> would you rather Where have a, a portable toilet fall over while you're using it? Oh my God. Like at a concert. Or oh. get trapped in a mine with 100 people for five days. I, why are these claustrophobic questions? Neither. Not doing it. I'll take the third way out. I'll take the toilet. I'll go bye-bye. Uh, That's what I'll do. Uh, I'm not doing either of those. All right, guys. Let's see. Would you rather lose your sense of smell? <laughs> it's funny. We've had a cold for two weeks now. Or... Steal food off a stranger's plate every time you go out to eat. Sounds uh. like fun. Oh no! Uh, oh yeah! Throw it. Never mind. Uh, uh, sense of smell. I don't like stealing things. I can't smell. think straight. All right, guys. Alexander's really struggling. Would you rather fight an ostrich to the death, or have all your food chewed by another person before eating? <laughs> these are not kind to her no. today. I'll fight the ass ostrich. Yeah. That just sounds like fun. I don't want to kill it though. All right, what else? No, I don't want to hurt it. Would you rather have your nose positioned upside down on your face? Uh, that's gross. Or too. be deathly allergic to direct sunlight? Sure, I already am. Uh, that's fine. All right, let's see. Would you rather have your butt in the front? No. Or never hit puberty? Uh, oh boy. Never hit puberty. Fine. I don't care. Yeah. No front butt. What the heck? I'll take the front butt. It sounds fun. Yeah, you have a big front butt because you hit puberty. Let's see. Would you rather approach every old person you see, steal their cane, and run away laughing, or get a tattoo of a six pack of beer on your abdomen? <laughs> That as, long, great. as long as it's my favorite beer, I'll take the tattoo. Dude, what kind is that? Um, I'll, I'll take a Belgian beer. Yeah, triple. Not triple. Anything uh, oh my god, I'm going. Let's see. Would you rather always answer honestly when people ask how you're doing? Yes. Good. Or drink orange juice immediately after brushing your teeth every morning? Well, that's not fun because it has sugar in it. Um, that's true. That's weird. Is it? I like, to, I like to answer honestly. Yeah, I'll just be honest. Try to be Most of the time, I'm like, I'm good. I am. Would you rather wear braces with headgear for the rest of your life, or try as hard as you can to hold every handshake for thirty seconds? I'll do the handshake. I don't want to see another couple do this together. Okay, who else is there? There's Ryan and Lila. Mike Jack, you and your girl, you do this. Um, what's her name? Jamie. I'm sorry, I can't think straight. Who else is a couple? Like, well, help Bella me out. Bella and yeah. Heat 101. Bella and Dark, but they, they don't really do anything anymore. That well. I've seen. Um, it would be cool to see them do it. Yeah. Oh, my ears hurt. I can drink a little. Uh, but I can feel my throat. Oh, couples. Let's not be rude and leave someone out. Who is there? Um, oh, Uncle Bull Cow. Uncle Bull Cow, uh, you yeah. tried it, but redo it. I bet you, I bet you, uh, Mrs. Bull Cow, she could, she could handle this. Oh, yeah. She'll do it like a chick. Yeah, do a whole one. Wow, the ears are actually ringing. Um, and who else? There's gotta be another. Those are the ones that come to mind, I guess. But, well, this is definitely a hot challenge. Um, hot. It's a fun one. I have no words. We should have words though. Like, I don't want to throw up. 
nose. Could grow um, up. Could I'm almost up. certain we're gonna have calf cramps. No, so. I don't. I might. Yeah. I can't, I never purposefully lose anything, but I'm nauseous. I've actually, for the record, only ever been sick from one League of Fire challenge. Only and one. You guys. And you could probably guess which one that was, and it was involuntary. So. The gag factor. Is there? There's something about the jelly. Yeah, it's. <sighs> I've learned to not like raspberry. Rain. Uh, I was thinking about it the whole time. Oh really? Seeds, jam, sweet. So my Ooh. my uh, I guess Michael's pro tip here with this particular challenge: eat it as fast as possible. Whatever that means, like it's Just dry. Eat it as fast as you can. Yeah, but I can't eat fast, and I'm like, oh. Uh... Oh, let's talk. Alexander's some. Achilles heel. That's why I'm doing this, you guys. Like, struggling. Not milk. That is milk. Oh, is it coconut milk? No, it's actually almond milk. But oh, yeah, okay. same thing. It's not dairy. I always say that because I don't drink dairy after this. Yeah. I usually just drink lime juice. Symptom. Let's go over symptoms really quick because it, it, I think this deserves it. Like, okay, there's not many videos on this. If you've watched all the way to this point, we can put a cutoff point like challenge ends and then we talk. Um, my ears are ringing. No, is this the hottest thing I've ever eaten in my life? Like Brian M said, hell no. No, it's not. That's a, that's a, I'm putting that out there because I've eaten way hotter things than this, but, but it's, you know, it's up there with hot things for real. Um, I'm, I have I think, all over body, yeah. like, kind of cold and yeah. uncomfortable. Uh, Gosh, it's hot. It's a really hot one. And it's a burner. You get that habanero Thai chili burn uh, in the back of your throat. I don't have a lot of throat burn. Uh, I feel like my throat tolerance, whatever that means, is going up. I'd really say strong. that this, this was a very tasty challenge though. And uh, I definitely recommend it. Um, it's just one that you definitely want to prep for. Um, and we don't, did. Don't we take a, it lightly. We had a nice breakfast. We had a really nice breakfast. Sundance told us, he was like, you guys, uh, I, I really try not to gag. <coughs> Sundance said, make sure you prep, because he said he didn't, and it was painful, and uh, we prepped. <coughs> so yeah, we'll, we'll put the link in the description if you want to try it out, hardbitten.com, uh, it's a Chicago-based company, so very cool, really enjoyed this challenge, so. Thanks for being a trooper. Okay, Michael's like, say goodbye. Okay, <laughs> bye everyone. Thanks so much for watching. Here. See ya. Have a great day.